I was watching a podcast yesterday and the hosts were talking about who they hate watch on YouTube and one of the girls said who she hate watches on YouTube and she bleeped it out and I'm convinced, like fully convinced that she said me. So now I feel insecure filming. Even though I don't I don't know if it's me. I think it's I think she said me. I think she said she hate watches me on YouTube and I texted Jordy and I was like, dude, watch this. Like I know she said me. And he was like, Tara, I don't think she did, but now I feel insecure. Cause she prefaced that like, oh, she's like sweet and she means well, but, and then, like I'm sweet and I mean well, but whenever I talk, I'm like cringy. Do you think she was talking about me? I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking, hear me out. It's Valentine's day, I'm alone. Not to brag, but I do have the best boyfriend in the world. I'm wifed up. I'm not single this Valentine's day, but he's not here. So me and you could spend Valentine's Day together because I'm alone. So if anyone else is alone on Valentine's Day, I'm gonna spend the day with you. Even though this isn't gonna go up on Valentine's Day, but still. The reason my boyfriend is not here is because Valentine's Day falls on a Wednesday and that's like the worst day of the week for him to like be out here visiting me because he works Monday through Friday. So he came out here Friday this past Friday and he just left yesterday on Tuesday so that he could only skip two days of work. So he's back in Illinois today. Let's fuck up Valentine's Day together. Why not? I wanted to get up at six today, but that just didn't happen at 7.20 right now because I have a couple of things to do before my house cleaner gets here at 10 and I don't want to be rushing around. So I'm gonna wake up the kids really quick and feed everyone and I'll be back. You guys, I'm obsessed with this thing. I cannot stop using it. I got it from the Skinny Confidential and it's just like their facial balls massager. The PR package said something along the lines of these are the only balls that you should want in your face. And I love it. I keep it in the freezer. And I just do this like all the time. I love shit like this because I get so puffy in the morning, even if I don't drink. Like when I am, when I'm drinking, I'm so puffy the next day and I love these, but I'm just like puffy regardless when I wake up. So I love this little device. Like look how snatched I look. Or is it all in my head? I don't know. Colin just sent me a funny text and I'm gonna read it to you. He goes, any of my friends come to me with relationship or girl problems, my instant response is, wow, me and Tara, and then I proceed to talk about how we don't have those problems and how we avoid them and how we're simply just better, and that you're simply just better. I love bragging about you. Okay, this may seem like I'm bragging on Valentine's Day. I don't mean to do that. And he goes on to say, I want everyone to be jealous as they should be, and I can't wait to marry you one day. I'm gonna my wife the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> I'm in love. Okay, enough Colin talk. This is Galentine's Day. I cannot be talking about my boyfriend. But I wanna talk about my boyfriend. I'm wearing pink to the gym because it's Valentine's Day. I'm fucking festive all of a sudden. Every holiday, I dress the part because I'm so fucking festive. I am literally wearing pink. I'm drinking a Kimade because the Kimades by Alani are pink. I have matching shorts to this top. Um, but they're just too long and it kind of makes me look insane. Like I'm not gonna wear like matching pink shorts with the top, that's kind of crazy. The top is from Aloe, the shorts are from Aloe. I love the pink shorts, I just wish they were shorter. They only have the pink shorts in the five inch, I believe. And I like the three inch shorts. So like I'm not wearing those. I'm on my period right now and I'm wearing these like tiny little white shorts, so. <laughs> Wait, I want to tell you guys something nasty. Like my worst nightmare nasty that happened the other day. Ew! Okay, I'll tell you. Colin was just here and I was on my period, so like... And you know what? It's just like... There's just something about like, you know, being in the mood and like... Kissing in bed and like, oh my god, we're gonna have sex. And then having to be like, alright, hold up. Let me just go into the bathroom and take out my tampon. Like it's just... It's not like a mood killer by any means, like neither one of us care, but there's just something about it. Being like, all right, hold on. I gotta go take out my tampon. Like, so whatever, like I've been doing that all week. And then after we had sex, like I was in the bathroom. <laughs> TMI. I was in the bathroom and I had to put in a new tampon. So I put in the new tampon and I was like brushing my teeth or something. And he comes in the bathroom and he's like, oh, you have a tail. Cause of the string. The tail, I didn't have underwear. Oh my god, I was mortified. You guys did not need to know that. You didn't want to hear that. Marty, what? 
You are my Valentine, my love. How could I ever get it mixed up like that? You are Valentine. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym now. I haven't been to the gym in four days because why haven't I been to the gym in four days? I went to the gym on Saturday and then Sunday I didn't go because we had Super Bowl Sunday festivities and we didn't have time. And then Monday I was hungover from Super Bowl Sunday. And then Tuesday, which was yesterday, that was Colin's last day. And like, I wanted to do like cute things with him. I didn't want to waste time at the gym. Cause we're not one of those fitness couples that like does the same workouts. Like I don't do like chest day with him. So like, I love going to the gym with him, but it's not like we're like attached at the hip at the gym. Like we do our own thing. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go work out. Just got back from the gym, my feet are sweaty, but my house cleaner's coming today so I can put my sweaty feet on the couch and everything's okay. I'm posting on my Snapchat story. Here's my thing with Snapchat. Let's talk about it. I've obviously been hearing over the past like probably year or so how much money people make on Snapchat. And at first I was just like, whatever, like I'm not adding another social media platform to my list of things to post on, like that just, I just don't want to do that. But I've been hearing so often about how people can make up to six figures a month just from posting on Snapchat. So obviously I started posting on Snapchat and I did that for a while and like maybe like a few weeks and I didn't really know how it worked. Like I didn't know how to make money on Snapchat. So I just like stopped. I recently got a contact for Snapchat um, and he basically told me that I need like 50,000 subscribers on Snapchat in order to get verified or I need 50,000 subscribers in order to like be in the Snapchat program and then start making money. So he was like, post again, like start posting again, whatever. My thing is just like, I already post so much on TikTok in my Instagram story, my Instagram feed, YouTube. Like I just, I already post so much of my life that like, I don't know if I can handle another social media platform like it's just too much and the people that post on snapchat like the big creators that post on snapchat that i watch like they post like a hundred snapchats a day of like their every move and i don't want to take pictures of my every move all day long like creators that are successful on snapchat will go to the grocery store and take 20 snapchats in the grocery store of like selfies and like someone's with them, like taking pictures of them, like picking out their ice cream. And like, it's like every second of their day, they're taking pictures and videos. And like, I don't want that to consume my life. I like to live in the moment a little bit sometimes. And I already post on so many platforms. I'm like, I don't want to be taking fucking selfies all day long. But at the same time, it's so much money that could potentially be made that I'm like, I can't really, I don't know. I just feel like I'm constantly on my phone nowadays because of like all these fucking platforms. <laughs> like, let me show you an example if you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, what on earth? They take pictures and videos all day long, and I'm just like, are you just constantly on your phone? Like, I, I don't, <laughs> that was half of her story today. <laughs> I'm like, every second of every single day is captured. Like, I have days like that too. I have days where I vlog on YouTube all day long. I have days where I vlog on TikTok all day long, but not every day and not like constantly like that. I don't know, It's just, I'm rambling, but it's just, it's crazy to me. But now that I just talked shit about Snapchat for the past five minutes, I'm gonna post on my Snapchat story. I have the hiccups right now. So if anything happens while I'm talking, that's why. But because it's Valentine's Day, I'm acting a little bit crazy. And I just put blush on. One thing about me, I hate blush. Blush ruins my makeup every, every single time I try to put blush on. I hate the way it looks because I get so flushed regardless. And I don't like looking red or pink at all. It is just not my thing. I don't like any sort of like pink color on my face. But today I'm feeling crazy and I used this heart man eater satin blush cheek plump in the shade in the shade pink and i love it i don't know what's come over me i just like i only did freckles today and just like my eyebrows like normal but i put some of that blush just like right here and i patted it all in it looks so cute and i'm wearing this little shirt from addicted with just like my normal sleep shorts and it feels so cute. I also got these in a PR package the other day that I'm really excited to try. Cause I have been into like a red lip oil. 
recently, so I think that maybe I'm gonna try like a red, like a cheek tint, I don't know. But these are all from Clarins. This is the water lip stain, and then I think this is for your lips too. Yeah, this is a lip oil in red, and then the lip perfecter in red, but like maybe I'll fuck around and use this on my cheeks. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here, but I'm kind of excited about these. I just took a thumbnail and I look so cute. I look so cute. Girls, we're gonna have a phenomenal day. I can feel it. Is that a fire? Oh shit, something's on fire downtown. Aside from the fire, we're gonna have a lit day. Melina's gonna be here. My, my house cleaner's name is Melina. She's gonna be here in like, I don't know, like 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna leave my key fob with security so that we can leave right now. Hold on, I'm also throwing on my road peptide treatment, the, the one that's tinted pink. I just can't be stopped today. She's going crazy today. I wanna grab coffee and breakfast and I was gonna go to like Bluestone Lane or something, but I really wanna try the new Hailey Bieber soft serve from Erewhon. Hailey's way, of course, with the peanut butter and the chocolate chips, but I have a sick feeling that Erewhon's gonna be crazy later with people getting the Hailey Bieber soft serve because it's like Valentine's Day themed. So I'm thinking I should just go right now and like eat that for breakfast because it's like 9.30. So I feel like not many people are at Erewhon getting ice cream. So I think I should go right now and get it for breakfast. I do feel like eating something savory right now because I always want savory things for breakfast, but I feel like I need to get this now or I will never be able to get it later. I'm filming a TikTok of me trying the Hailey Bieber soft serve because that's what all the cool girls are doing. Do you guys remember when everyone on TikTok was calling me a high school bully because I was drinking the Hailey Bieber smoothie from Erwan? I'll never forget it. I know I've brought that up a couple times, but it's just because I, I really can't believe it. We're at Erwan, and like it looks like pretty dead. It looks like no one's here, so I think I made the right move. I almost just caved and ordered a burrito because I want savory food so bad right now, but we're sticking to the plan. I'm so excited, I'm gonna cry. This looks so good. I'm filming a TikTok though, so I'm gonna film this little TikTok right now. I'm so excited right now. I'm gonna be honest, Jordy brought me a bite of this last night. He was like, open your door, you need to try this, but he didn't get it hit his way, so. The soft serve itself is absolutely insane. It has peanut butter drizzle and like a chocolate chips. No one does it like Erwan. I'm so sorry, I'm just being honest. I have the hiccups so bad, I can't breathe. And I'm embarrassed. I, and when I get the hiccups, they last for a really long time. So I'm just prepared for the next four hours of my life to be consumed with this. But I'm at the Beverly Center because I'm shooting for OnlyFans tomorrow for the first time since August. Like it's really, oh my God, it's really bad. I've shot like here and there like a little bit. Um, just when my manager gets like content houses, I'll like go and like shoot with other people. But I haven't done like an OG, like going to a hotel by myself and like shooting all day thing since August, which is horrible. So I'm going to Victoria's Secret to get lingerie to for my shoot tomorrow. I love the elevators at the Beverly Center. They're so cute. Um, I'll show you guys. I need to take like a selfie. Sorry, I'm like it. I'll show you guys the hotel that I booked when I get back in the car. It's insane. I've never spent that much money on a hotel. It, oh my God, in my life. But I'm bawling out because I haven't shot in so long and I have to get a lot done um, tomorrow when I get there into the next day. So I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna get some crazy room. Well, I'll, show, I'll show you it when I get back to the car. I don't even know where Victoria's Secret is. I always forget. I think it's upstairs. I'm loving how there's like no one around today. I don't even know if the mall's open right now. I don't know if the stores are open yet. I didn't check. I think they are, cause it's like 10.55. So I, I, have a, I don't know. You guys, this Tesla is like wrapped in Christmas lights and I love it and I think they're onto something. That probably looks so pretty at nighttime when it's all lit up. We don't wanna do that. Okay, I just went to Victoria's Secret and Honey Burdette. Honey Burdette is so expensive. I've never shopped there before because like I got probably like eight things at Victoria's Secret and it was $600. And then I got four things at Honey Burdette and it was $600. I'm gonna film a haul for OFTV. I've never made an OFTV before but I'm making my first one right now because I think this would be a perfect cute little video for my first one. Lingerie haul. So I'm gonna like film it in the parking lot of this mall. 
I'm just gonna move my car so the lighting is better. Okay. And keep an eye on the water drinking and see if it improves with the antibiotic, you know? Uh-huh. Because if it does, then that'll indicate that, yeah, we should have given her more antibiotics. So. Yeah, all right. And it's funny, in this month's journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association, which is like our regular journal, mm -hmm. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but there's an article on <laughs> persistent E. coli mm -hmm. <laughs> urinary tract. It, yeah cats, so. oh. I love my vet so much I got so lucky like when I first moved to LA I lived right next to the veterinary care center in Hollywood so that's where I went and it's just like the best vet ever like the doctor cares so much about my cats and I can tell that she cares so much specifically Phoebe we've been working on Phoebe for a few years and the vet is just so awesome and if you live in LA I recommend the veterinary care center hi we're in the Jeep this is my first OFTV ever I don't know how long this has been a thing but with my first one first I got this little like slip dress nightgown sort of thing i wanted to get they had this print in like a pajama set too but of course it was sold out a lot of this stuff isn't even in my fucking size but i got it anyways because i'm gonna make it work this is so cute i love it next see, this is one of the things that's just simply not in my size i got this and i like have the same thing at home but this one has like a heart on it and it has like diamonds so it's like really cute but it's not in my size so i'm just hoping that that works out next this is kind of just like a dress like a slip dress i don't know if this is considered lingerie but it's cute and like the straps i don't know maybe i'll wear it to like a morgan wallen concert or like when i'm sipping wine on my hotel balcony tomorrow who knows okay this next thing is funny <laughs> i wasn't gonna get this i don't even like all right um let's see you couldn't pay me all the money in the world to figure it's a bodysuit but it's just kind of strings i don't know how this works so this is gonna be funny when i'm trying to put this on tomorrow um look at the little safety pin on it like how cute it's cute but I'm confused. Next thing, this is adorable. I, I don't know how this one works either. Um, oh, cute, right? And there's like hearts on everything because it's Valentine's Day, I'm thinking. Oh, I got these underwear, again, not in my size because I have like a matching bra that would match with it. So I got these with the little hearts, not in my size. I hope this, this stuff like, oh, and I got a robe. I got like a silky robe to like wear over like lingerie and like I'm slipping it off my shoulder and it'll be cute. I'm in a robe era. So this is cute. I like like um, I w I've, I've wanted like a silky robe and I have one at home, but it's black and there's like lace on it. And like, that's just, it's not, I don't love the lace on it and I can't really, okay, this is weird, but I can't really wear the color black when I'm shooting on my phone because it washes me out. So I can never wear that bathrobe when I'm like taking pictures or anything because it just like makes me look like a ghost. And then, okay, I went to Honey Burdette for the first time and when I was checking out, they have like cool like bondage things that I was like looking at while I was checking out, but I was like too shy to like go get it. But I don't know, they just have like cool stuff in there and I should have got something, but I was a little flustered. Anyways, Honey Burdette is fucking expensive. I've never been before. I usually only get my lingerie from Victoria's Secret. If they had some cute stuff, it's just so expensive. I was like, oh my God. Okay, first I got this bodysuit. It's just like white with gold. Like this was like $200 and I don't know why I got it, but it's, cu it's cute. I was like, whatever. And then this is a set. This is gorgeous. This is the bra right this is the underwear that looks way too big for me but apparently it's an extra small to fit my tiny ass so and then a little what are these called um what are these called i know what this is called um i forget someone let me know what this is called i f i know what it is but i forget and, and how would i even look that up okay i just finished filming my first OFTV. that was so much fun because i like doing only fans and all but like it's really not like my vibe like I'm, it's not like i'm chatting on there like i'm just like posting pictures and videos of me doing explicit things i'm not really like doing this and this is what i love so it's so cool it's like a youtube style 
platform. Uh, uh, oh my god! I'm burping in your face again, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing now. Where should we go now? I had like a list, I wrote out a list of things last night that I wanted to do today while I was high, and I, it's at home. I don't know what I wrote. I do have to go tanning because I have my shoot tomorrow. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the hotel I got. Oh my God, so there's this hotel that I passed by the other day on Sunset that I've never stayed at before. It's called The Edition. And I just like glanced at it. I was like, oh, that looks like a bougie hotel that I would love. So I looked it up online and oh my God, it's so pretty. I have quite literally never spent this much money on a hotel room before and I've spent a lot of money on hotel rooms for OnlyFans. Like I, I'm never like, I'm never balling out and spending thousands of dollars just for like, simply pleasure like i only do do this when i'm shooting for only fans it's a business expense but i need to show you guys the room i think the most i've ever spent on hotel rooms for only fans is definitely the bungalows at the beverly hills hotel and one time i got a really nice suite at the four seasons but this tops that <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, yeah, I got the Superior Villa Suite, and this is just like a picture of what it looks like. It has like a whole terrace thing, and it just looks so pretty, and I'm so excited. I called the people who work for me, aka my parents, and I was like, hey, if you see a really big charge on my card, look the other way. I'm sorry. But I'm excited, I'm so excited. I'm playing around with this like empty prosciutto package that I found in my car today. Um, okay, I'm gonna go somewhere. Who knows where? I'm in a great mood. Oh my God, I love them. I love them. Happy Valentine's Sophie. Day. Sophie, Valentine's Do you wanna be in her vlog? <laughs> Oh, Hi. we are in the middle of the street. Yes, and it's so funny. We're in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. We stopped her, and she's I love it. Valentine. Oh, you guys are my Bye. Valentine. Bye. 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 I love nice it. to meet you guys. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Bye. Bye. I was just parked in the middle of the road for like five minutes talking to those girls. It is not this weekend, but like I think Tuesday through Thursday or something. I just can't do more than one day anymore. Oh, Monday. I like love it because I just like lay on the couch. <laughs> you guys, I love when it rains. Jordy's helping me set up my another OnlyFans account. Aww. Mm hmm. Wait, do you really like the coffee from there? Air one? Yeah. No. Yeah. I was just, I, I was getting the Hailey Bieber thing, yeah. so I had to get my coffee there too. <laughs> you see her and Dustin walking around Silver Lake? Silver Lake. No. I saw the them at street. the Air one though. You saw them? No. But I don't know which Air one that was. I think it's Silver Lake. Wait, now I want to like find out. I'm going to see if I can ask somebody to ask. Like, I don't even know somebody for the. I want to know who, who that's about. I told them about it this morning, but I didn't say who it was that yeah. said it. I was just like, yeah. oh, someone on a podcast. Oh, oh there now. <laughs> I don't get that. When I watched that, I was, I was thinking, but I actually. I didn't think of you at all. I forgot who I was trying to think about. There's this car that's parked a few spots down from mine in my apartment building, and they were screaming at each other the other day in the car, this couple, and I fear that they're not having a good Valentine's Day because the things they were saying, I was like, oh shit. It was pretty intense. Me and my dad, my dad was with me and he was like, I could never like fight with someone like that if I knew people were listening. I was like, yeah, me neither. They were just like screaming in the parking garage. I just finished setting up my second OnlyFans account and I edited my, oh, I still have the hiccups. I edited my OFTV and did all of that. And now I'm gonna go get a little lunch. I love when my house cleaner is at my apartment cause then I have an excuse to like not cook. I'm like, oh, I guess I have to eat out all day. I'm gonna go somewhere and my boo thing is out of work, so I'm gonna call him. I just had the best experience ever at the Sweet Green on the corner of La Brea and 2nd Street. The guy's name was Benjamin, the one that was serving me, and he was just so fucking awesome, and like, I have such an appreciation for that because I worked in the service industry for so long, so I love when they're like personable and like really sweet and like make conversation. Benjamin was fucking amazing, and I just like appreciated that so much, and he was so nice. And that just made my day. I love when people are like so sweet. You you may have heard me talk about my sweet green order before, but I am just so obsessed with my order and I need everyone to try it. So I'm gonna tell you again. A bowl with romaine, quinoa, roasted sweet potato, tofu, onion, cucumber, crispy rice, and then a lemon squeeze with pesto vinaigrette. Oh my God. It's just like the best thing in the world. Mm. Yes. You're all out of ideas. 
Yeah. You guys, I finally finalized a name for my brand yesterday, and we found out today that it's trademarked. And I was just telling Colin on the phone, and he's been spewing off names, like potential names, for the past 15 minutes, and I think it's the cutest thing ever. You're getting somewhere, love. Where'd you get all those? I'm getting nowhere. You are. Are you looking up, like, adjectives for things on Google? That's one of the things I did. Or synonyms. <laughs> I think I meant to say synonyms. You did mean synonyms. <laughs> you guys, I'm getting what? in the tanning bed. Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm getting nowhere. I didn't even get a consideration for any of my ideas. Yeah, but that's how it's been for the past, like, month. I'm very picky. Yeah. I'm killing the blush today. You are. Mm-hmm. I love how they acknowledged how I'm how I slouch my little my little jacket off my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm just giving shoulder today. God forgive me, I like don't know her name, but that blonde girl that on TikTok that cooks, the one that made that like viral mac and cheese, the like teeny oh, is her name Teeny? I was gonna say the teeny tiny one. I think her name is Teeny, I don't know. But she made this like strawberry dessert thing for Valentine's Day and it looked really good. So I'm at Ralph's to get the ingredients to make the strawberry thing. And I'm gonna make some for me and Jordy. I kinda need to grocery shop too. So maybe I'll grab some groceries when I'm here too because I got nothing. I came to Ralph's because I wanted like real graham crackers, not no off-brand shit. Like I wanted Nabisco. And I love the vibe here. It's so chill. I think I might start shopping here instead of Whole Foods. I think I might make the switch. And they have everything I eat. Like, if I eat the same exact things every day. I'm like such a creature of habit. I've been eating the same things for like years. And they have everything I eat. I just did a full grocery shop. So, my house cleaner just left and my apartment looks so good. I love when she cleans. Everything is just so perfect. She always washes like my couch cushions and my bedding, but never my laundry. I just like, don't have her do my laundry, I do my own. But I asked her to do my laundry and she didn't. I think she forgot because she doesn't normally do it. So now I have a bunch of laundry to do tonight because I need a lot of that stuff for tomorrow. But that's okay, I don't really care. I've had the hiccups for six hours now. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Ugh. It's like really sad for me. Like I, uh, <laughs> I just got packages and I'm really excited because I know what one of them is. And it's something I've been waiting for for so fucking long. But we're gonna open that one last because I like to save the best for last. Even when I'm like eating, you know when you're eating and like there's like good bites and then there's like bad bites? I save all the good bites for the ending <laughs> when I'm eating. Um, this is my favorite skincare brand ever. <laughs> this is the skincare I've been using for like two, three months now. I'm so obsessed with it. Like my skin looks so good. It's Elemis, the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. These dynamic resurfacing facial pads and then the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is like my exact skincare routine every day. And they sent, <laughs> and they sent a cute little headband so I can like put my hair back when I'm doing my skincare. Oh, they're now at Sephora. Oh, that's so exciting for them. Elemis is now available at Sephora. Congratulations, you guys, that's so cool. Next thing is from Caseify, and Caseify never sends me PR, so I'm really excited. I used to work with them a lot when I first moved here, and then I stopped working with them. I haven't gotten PR since, so I'm all excited right now. Wait, oh, th <laughs> thank God, wait. They're little Valentine's cases, and they have the little grippy things. <gasps> For like, for like windows and mirrors. Oh, that's so cool! I love that. I actually, I actually just ordered this thing where I that I stick on my phone case, um, so that I can stick it to like a mirror or like a window. Oh, <laughs> but I wanted like a phone case that did that. I didn't even know they made those. So now I have them. Thank you, Caseify. That's so cool. This last package, you guys. I ordered this. Don't you love when influencers do that? I didn't mean to do that when they're like. When they're like doing an unboxing and they're opening up all these packages and then at the end they're like, and this one I ordered with my own money. This one didn't get sent to me. This one I paid for with my own money. Like, okay, girl. <laughs> let's, let's relax. Um, but I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand called The Bar. You probably have. They're like popping off right now. But they came out with these like varsity sweatsuits and they did 
four drops. I failed at the first three. Like I was on the website and within maybe 15 seconds, all of them sold out. So I couldn't get them the first three times. I finally successfully got a sweatsuit a couple weeks ago and it just came in and I'm so excited. I've been, I've been wanting to wear this sweatsuit since I think November or maybe even, oh my God, I'm so happy. I got the Heather Gray and chocolate set. I got the sweatpants in a small and then I got the crew neck in a double XL because I managed to get, um, I managed to get one of their crew necks a while ago, but I didn't have the matching sweat. So like it didn't feel real. It didn't feel complete, but I got the crew neck in an XL. And then after I washed it, it shrunk and like, it's just too small for me now. I don't like it. So I got a double XL this time. Oh, she's stunning. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to put it on even though the thermostat in my apartment has not worked for two weeks and it's 80 degrees in here right now. I'm not kidding you, it's 80 degrees and I just like haven't put it in a maintenance request this whole time. I finally just did, but it's really hot in here. So I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try this on, but I won't be able to keep it on. You guys don't understand how long I've been waiting for, for this day. I don't know what the fuck it is <laughs> about this sweatsuit. My boyfriend understands, okay? He's heard me go on long, long rants about these sweatsuits. I'm so fucking happy. I think my plan is I'm just never gonna wash it so that it never shrinks because I like it like super big like this. Catch me perusing around Beverly Hills in my little bar sweatsuit with a slick backed pony like this. Oh, y'all don't even get it. I have to call my boyfriend. This is a moment in history. You know how hard I've tried to get this sweatsuit. I do. It's here. Uh, it looks so good. Matching sweats. Uh, we out here, baby. We did it. That was very cute, baby. Thank you, baby. I think what color are you going to go for next? Anything for my favorite lady. Mm -hmm. The next color I'm going for is maroon. I just finished that dessert that I was making. I'm sorry, I vlogged it on TikTok, so I didn't show you guys what I did. But oh my God, I'm freaking out. Look at these, they're so good. I just tried one. It's basically, you just like hollow out a strawberry and then you put cream cheese frosting in like a piping bag and you fill it with the cream cheese frosting. And then you put crushed graham crackers on top and then drizzle chocolate over them and stick them in the fridge for like 10 minutes. This thing is insane. I cut one in half so I could see the middle and I'm gonna do it again to show you guys. Like you're kidding, I'm freaking out. This shit is so bomb, you need to make this at home. Mmm! I'm gonna go bring some to Jordy, and he's gonna die. These are so good. I think Indy is at his apartment too, so I'm feeding the kids tonight. You guys, I got that like nowadays stuff. I used to see like Ken Urich drinking this, but I never got it until recently. And I fucking love it. I drink it every night. I got the like, they have a microdose one and they have a low dose one. I got the low dose one and there's six milligrams of THC. And it, it tastes good too. It doesn't taste like an edible. It tastes like floral. I was mixing it with um, like the tart cherry juice and the uh, strawberry vanilla Olipop, like how I make my sleepy girl mocktails, but with this. But I think I'm gonna use this watermelon lime because I made one of these with this the other night and it was really good, but I couldn't finish it because I had anxiety. So, remember that the other night when I was like freaking out and I made uh, a whole cocktail with this and I didn't even drink it? Uh, uh, He's trying to figure out how we can play Mario Kart on our Nintendo Switches. I personally haven't used mine in fucking years. So it's like charging right now. I found it in my junk, junk bucket. Oh, it's pink for Valentine's Day. I'm keeping up the theme. Let's go. Marty Bird? Marty talking is like actually frustrating to me now. Why? Because he hates me so much when he eats it. I don't know why he does. Marty hates Colin. No matter what I try, just the more consecutive days I stay there, he is in a worse and worse mood. Mm hmm. I give him food, I feed him, I wake him up in the morning. I talk to him. Colin does try very hard with him, which I told him that makes me very happy because I've had people in the past that didn't care at all about building a relationship with my bird, like didn't care in the slightest. Colin cares so much and he does so many things to try to get Marty to like him and Marty just doesn't <coughs> like him at all. 
He's gonna really hate me when I move there in June. Yeah. Sucks to suck. We have funny little people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You are really good. Here's the thing, my love. What's that? I'm sick and tired of your shit. Let's go. What the fuck? Oh, my feet are sweating after that one. <laughs> oh, it's comeback season. And now, I just filmed all that on my camera. I'm gonna edit it to make it look like I won the first race. <laughs> that would be bogus. <laughs> Why would you choose Wario? I don't think I've ever seen somebody be... Ew, you're so creepy, because he's creepy. <laughs> so is Ooh, he's like slimy, and like he looks like he's gonna like steal your money. 11 a.m. I've had the hiccup since 11 a.m. Colin told me to take a sip of my drink and swallow it upside down. <laughs> you don't have to do a full handstand. My tits came out! Your little waddle over there is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I dribbled. I dribbled on my sweatshirt. <laughs> you guys, I just covered my entire couch in blankets so that my cats can't ruin it. Because my house cleaner cleaned my couch today and it looks so good, and I'm sick of the cats ruining it. So I wrapped the whole thing in, in blankets. I was like, what if I like become one of those ladies that like wraps their furniture in like plastic, like Sheila from Shameless? I think I'm on the way there. Cause I'm sick of cats ruining everything that I provide for them. I work to put food on the table, to put roof over the head, to put water in mouth, arms around the body. I get nothing in return, no job. None of my cats have a job. No jobs. They sit on their ass all day. I work and provide for family. My apartment is such a vibe right now. It's so clean. I've had the door open all night, so it smells like the outdoors in here. There's a subtle breeze coming in. It's like a little chilly. Oh, I love it. Someone is having a campfire nearby, and I can smell it. I haven't even lit my candle because I can smell the damn campfire. I'm going to put the apartment to bed now. I'm actually kind of hyper, so maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll play my new Bop It, but it's 9 p.m., so I'm going to put Marty to bed. I'm going to go to bed. My peak today was the entire day. Like, I think every second of my day today was a peak, so that's great. But I would say my top moments were being at Air One. I don't know. It was just a vibe. Being at Air One at like 9 in the morning, no one's there. I'm eating ice cream. That was fun and seeing Jordi and Indy and like hanging out with them on the rooftop and making those fucking strawberries and playing Mario Kart with Colin. That was fun. We've never played like on online play before. We only ever play like in person. That was fun. Even though he kicked my ass. I can't believe I just admitted that. And my pit was no pit today. Don't care. I don't have a pit. It's like stupid, but I guess my pit was Victoria's Secret not having this like pajama set that I wanted in my size. That's like my only pit. That's all I can think of. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure to follow my TikTok and my Instagram. They're both Towers World. And my Snapchat that I post on now is It's Towers World. And my OnlyFans is It's Towers World too. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Today was like the best day ever. And we spent Valentine's Day together and that was so cute. Sorry, I'm in like a really good mood and I need to shut up. Also that blush stayed on all day. Heart man eater blush. I used to be a man eater. I used to be a bitch. I used to be a bitch to anyone that liked me. Colin like literally changed my life. I'm in love. Oh, okay. Good night. I love you.